Yes, this is Dr. Como, world-famous singing psychiatrist. <laughs> you tell me your dream, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> Emma? Emma who? Oh, my wife. Oh, hi, Emma. <laughs> On the way home, you want me to pick up two quarts of ice cream and uh, two dozen pickles. Mm hmm Expecting? You're expecting? Oh, you're expecting company. Thought we blew everything right there. I'm coming home right after my next patient. Yes. See you later. You tell me your dream. Miss Jones, send her right in. further a couple of questions I'd, I'd like to ask. Questions? To be all right. <clears throat> this ain't gonna be one of those sex surveys, is it? No, no, no. The good stuff, the good stuff comes later. You devil, you. <laughs> Say, that guy in the picture with the long hair and the beard, is that Sigmund Freud? No, 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 that's my son. <laughs> He's a freshman at Berkeley. <laughs> A lot of life, honey. Y'all could be almost relatives. <laughs> now, for the questions. Uh, name? Geraldine Jones. Uh, capital J on the Jones. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Your age? Can't you fall in star and <laughs> No, how, how old are you? Never let it fade away. Uh, well, we'll just, uh, we'll just put down over at 21. I figured you'd catch on eventually. Is it miss or missus? It's miss. That's why I'm here. <laughs> what you see is what you get. <laughs> You trying to tell me you're having trouble finding a man? Don't be ridiculous. Honey, the day I have trouble finding a man, I won't need you. I need an undertaker. <laughs> then I don't understand. Well, let me tell you. See, I want to get married. But Killer, my boyfriend, that's my boyfriend, Killer, he says he wants to keep the relationship as is. <laughs> oh, I see. See, Killer says if I want to get married, I must be crazy. So I want another opinion. <laughs> it's probably for you. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, look, look, Emma. I can't. I can't talk to you now. Yes, I, I love you. I love you. And a loaf of. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel? Now. <laughs> so you want me to help you solve your problem, is that correct, Miss Young? If you expect to get paid. <laughs> well, why don't you, uh, why don't you lie? <laughs> you have got a problem. Why don't you lie down on the couch? Lie on the couch. <laughs> yeah, you clever, ain't you? <laughs> Honey, I came here to consultate, not operate. <laughs> no, 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 no. All psychiatrists. <laughs> All psychiatrist patients lie on the couch. They do? Mm -hmm. You guys got a good thing going, ain't you? <laughs> Chicks just 
just come in and fall out on the couch. I don't know about that. Chill then. You're gonna have to trust me. You starting to sound like killer now. Look at you. Trust me. Trust me, Geraldine. If you don't, I can't treat you. <laughs> just lie on the couch. Is it any cheaper if I stand up? No, no. No, you just lie on the couch. And don't shove. Don't shove. <laughs> don't push me. Don't you ever push me. <laughs> You want me to sit down and just say, Geraldine, have a seat? Don't push me. If you ever, 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 if you ever run into me anywhere, tell anybody you with, don't push up. I'm sorry, but I didn't push you. You were supposed to. Why don't you go ahead and just, just talk a little bit. <laughs> this is a flower, ain't it? It sure is. <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> you're, yes. mess, you're messing up the props. Uh, yes. Look, why don't you just go ahead and talk and tell me what's on your mind? Well, the first thing on my mind is, uh, how much do you charge? <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's $35 an hour. Goodbye, honey. Wait. <laughs> Yeah. Nothing now, I just got cured. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go now. Look, we can make some arrangements about the payment. Just slide down. <clears throat> That's what I'm afraid of, don't <laughs> they? Yeah. yeah, I wanna make some arrangements. <laughs> well, Kill Killer did say he'd pay my doctor bill if I loaned him the money. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where did you meet Killer? Where did I meet Killer? I went to this party in his apartment. And the next morning, I woke up under the table with a You've Been Liberated button in my hand. I see. Now, how long have you been gone together? Ever since then. <laughs> Well, actually, in the last eight years, we've been engaged 27 times. What's, what's he got against marriage? He ain't got nothing to get marriage. He's for marriage. Got three wives already. <laughs> he said, he says if he marries me, they'll cut off his alimony. Oh, well, personally, I'm very high on marriage. Each his own, honey. <laughs> I've been married now for 22 years. It's probably for you. <laughs> Don't nobody know I'm here. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Emma? Look, I told you not to call me. <laughs> no, that's just a patient. I told you not to call me. You never listened to me. For the past 22 years, you haven't heard one word I've said. Now, listen to this. Goodbye. <laughs> Darling. She kind of getting next to you, ain't she? <laughs> uh, where were we? We were talking about Killer. Oh, yes. Tell me something about it. Well, sometimes he's mean. Other times he's moody. But when he wants to be, He's magnificent. <laughs> Woo! For the magnificence of Killer! <laughs> see, see, Killer got his own way of doing things. He don't do nothing like anybody else. You know what I mean? No, what, what do you mean? I don't, I don't quite understand. Well, like, uh, instead of buttering his bread, Killer butters his lips and slides the slices in. <laughs> It sure is. I think he should be coming here. Yesterday, let me tell you what happened yesterday. Yesterday I was playing some Ray Charles records. I was dancing around the apartment and Killer bumped into me and knocked me down. So I said, are you blind? He said, no, I knocked you down, didn't I? Oh, boy. 
Does this man ever take you anywhere? Last night he took me to a drive-in movie. He's so busy looking into other cars, he missed the picture. <laughs> I can see why you're crazy about him now. Well, you the doctor, what should I do? No, look, I'm, I'm a psychiatrist, not a marriage counselor. I can help you if you have tensions, if you have uh, anxieties, depressions, neuroses, psychosis, well, hallucinations. Well, what else have you got? <laughs> well, if you don't hear what you like, just ask for it. Well, forget about it, honey. Wait, forget about it. Wait just a minute. But your, your time isn't up yet. Uh, if killer comes in and catch me on this couch, your time is up. <laughs> uh, why don't you just relax? I told just, you, don't shove me. I'm not, don't, I'm not, don't ever shove me. I just keep your hands off. Just say, Geraldine, have a seat. Geraldine, Don't shove have me. A seat. No, you don't know me. <laughs> That's probably for you. Don't you ever shove me. No more. He ever shoved me. Hello, Emma. <clears throat> Emma? I'm telling you for the last time, don't call me at the office. Now, if you call me once more, I'll... Bob... Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes. You poor man. Let me talk to this chick. <laughs> Hello, Emma. You don't know me, honey. Why don't you get off this man's back? <laughs> That's right. This is costing me $35 an hour. <laughs> you done used up $15 worth. <laughs> don't you call this office no more. I'll come over there and crump your nickel. <laughs> and relax, honey. Yes. yes, dear. You need help a lot more than I... You comfortable? Yes. yes. When did you first meet this broad ass? <laughs> 